yeah, this is my car, and um, I'm quite happy about it, my first car thingy, but really annoys me, my stereo doesn't have Bluetooth. So I was thinking about getting a new stereo, but I'm a cheap ass, and um, I thought there has to be a better way. So I was kind of looking at, at the internet, uh, you can buy an extension, you can add to these cables down here, so you can connect a Bluetooth receiver to your Wi-Fi in your car. It will also make your mobile phone a hands-free stuff, uh, but that's not cheap either. That would cost like 500 kron, and I'm a GBS, yeah, just a GBS. So I thought I would have to find something. Maybe I would save up for a new radio. And then I came down at Aldi, a German shop in Denmark. They usually have some cheap electronics. Uh, if I trust them, I don't know. I mean, they still sell them. I've been selling electronics for years, so it should work. But when I was down at Aldi, I found this. Three years of warranty. So I thought to myself, and about 150, uh, 20 kron. So I thought to myself, yeah, that, that seems great. The only problem is it was it's made for a Wi-Fi at home, not in the car. So I looked at it, looked at the specs, and looked, looked, looked. It looked fine, I thought. So I unboxed it. Yeah, that's the receipt. And here is a small unit. And you connect your Wi-Fi or your Hi-Fi to this one, and then it needs power. And lo and behold, my eyes, it says 5 volts. Which is the same what a USB gives. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I can mod it. Let's see at the power supply. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Come on. Yeah, turn it around. Yeah, but it says 5 volt. I'll just add a picture later. 5 volt and 200 milliamps. So, yeah. I thought, I can make this. And this looks like a, a Nokia stick. Or a Nokia phone. And they usually charge with the same. So I went out and searched the world for a Nokia charger. Or sort of my friends and families. And found this one. From my uncle. A Nokia charger. Yeah, I think I have to post this one. And it's again in post. But it, ha and it has this small plug. But unfortunately, it's actually smaller than the other one. So it doesn't really fit. I can do this with one hand, but it fits inside there. Oops, that one. There. But it has some wiggle room, and that's not good. So I have to make this about half a millimeter bigger. And how could I possibly do that? I could order a plug that would fit from eBay or something. But that's not really the hacking way. I had I have some of these meant to plug on a cable and then you cramp them and you don't have to sort or twist the cables and you can plug them into a, a wall socket. So the idea is cut one off, just snap it off here, there. Cut it off at a length that matches up with this one. So then we can stick it on here like that, but it's a little too big. So we need to cut right through there, and then we can clamp it on here, and then it should fit snugly in there. So let's go do that. So there we are at my workshop. Just turn the drill to on, and gently cut it like oh no. Yeah, I can't cut it too much. Just turn it off again. Let's try again. A little more and cut it gently. You can see, we need to cut it 
up to this one. A little bit smaller is okay, it's fine. So it's just start cutting it. There we go. Right there. There you can see, I cut it down. I actually ended up using the tweezers to hold it in one hand and then the Dremel to cut it. Well, there's no prox on something to cut it. And let's see how it fits. Uh, length fits great. So now we just need to make it fit, make it smaller. So we just cut one long, long one side and squeeze it a little together. So let me do that off cam again and then show you on the way. I don't know how well this shows up. Uh -huh. Yeah, my fat fingers here. Yeah. You can see there, cut it straight down there. And then we just fit it on here again. And you can squeeze it all tightly. You might have to cut not once but twice, a couple of times, so it will fit on there snugly. And once that's done, and back on my laptop and with the Nokia charger and the Bluetooth receiver, I made it fit quite well and now if I plug it in it fits and I can even plug it into the power down here should come up with the red light on there we, no sorry a blue light on so that works that means the plus and minus are also correct that that's great you need to take that into account now the reason I didn't cut this one is if I did destroy this the warranty would go and I really want to keep that so I had to jerry-rig this so now we know 5 volt 200 milliamps and the next step is to get get this from somewhere and a phone charger usually is 5 volt because that's what USB is and 800 uh, 5, 200 watts that should be easy really easy so I thought, well, let's go down to the dollar store and buy a cheap ass iPhone charger and then cut it apart. So I just have to cut this wire, cut this wire, and sew them together. So once we have tested it, we will. F you should do this as well. But there are only two wires of the four you need. Two of them are for data, and I think the iPhone requires you to have some data on it. Uh, in order to make sure it charts and stuff, but usually you just need the red wire and the black wire. So these are gonna be soldered up to the plug that we just made, and then it should be ready for the cut. There we go. Once you have cut the wires, you will need to figure out what color, what uh, of the center of the plug and the outside of the plug. Uh, some charges will tell you if that's the center, blah, blah, blah. But you can also just plug it up to your metometer, and see, I put the plus to the white one and the black to the black one. And that seems to be right. The white one is plus and the black one is, is minus. If it wasn't correctly, it would my multimeter would show a minus in front of the, the number. Tell me that that's upside down. So once you know which y is plus and which is minus, you can just sort them up like that. Okay, um, once you have soldered them together, you can test them, but just be sure not to shorten the wires. We might burn the power supply, but testing it is a good idea. Now, I'm just going to keep the power supply at about 12 volts. You can see it's working with 300 milliamps. And there's the transformer thingy. And I'm just going to keep it in here so I don't make a short. And then let's try to plug in the block and see what happens. There we go. There. Three, two, one. Nothing. Oh, uh, that's bad. Let's see. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's the other way around. But that seems weird. Let, let's take a look at the power supply. Plus goes in the middle. Well, I plugged up the multimeter and it says it's 5 volts and then it booted up. 
it should be searching right now for a phone. So this seems to work. Let's put on some tape to isolate those. I think I'll use some of this. I don't know what you call it. Black stuff that wraps around it. Just put it on and melt it with a lighter. So let's do that and test it out in the car. There we have it, all crammed up. So let's go out and test it in the car. That's going to be fun. There we go. So we are finally in the car again. Let's open up this. And plug it in. Now I will have to turn this one on just like that. The light's on. So the blue light should be on. Uh, yes, it is. So since I'm recording this on a phone, I borrowed my girlfriend's phone. So let's see if it can find my... There we go. And we need Bluetooth. There we go. Bluetooth turned on, and that is the name, that's correct. Scanning, that's also correct. Now we're connecting. Come on. You know you want to. Doesn't turn on my phone. It's connected. That's peachy. Right? No, I don't want to end the connection. So let's turn on the Wi Fi. Oh, the radio. There we go. Let's see. We should have some music on it. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know where. Fine, we'll find some music or s oh Winamp. I might do it. Yeah, that's not Winamp. So yeah, let's just look at this. You just need the sound. So there'll be an ad first. Click can connect. Come on. I don't have patience for this. And play. Is it playing? Yeah. It's definitely connected. Um. Oh, silly me. Of course, I need to connect the this as well. Let's see where did the cable go. So many cables. There it is. So uh, I'm just going to. Put it down a moment. There we go. So now it's connected to. Let's turn that one down. So now it's connected to the power on. Uh, now it's connected to the power on this one, and the Wi-Fi on this one. Oh, the, not the Wi-Fi. The the Hi-Fi. The, the radio in the car, and the radio in the car is connected to that plug. So let's turn up a little. And I can control it here. So whenever songs are on this, go play on the radio. That's so sweet. It's really sweet. So I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe I inspired you to do something like this. It's easy. The one cost me like a hundred kron, and this one is ten kron. So I don't know, one hundred and thirty. 
and I had made this one, old one, almost, what is it, eight years old, made it Bluetooth compatible. That's great. So get out there and do stuff.